Jalen Hurts comes across, and I heard Sal Palantonio say this, and I think there's a lot of accuracy to it. He's got a lot of those Tom Brady type of, um, I remember what you said about me. I'm going to internalize it. I'm never going to talk about it, but I remember, and I'm going to use it against you type of traits. And Jalen Hurts, I would imagine, I guarantee, is – Aware of what Micah Parsons said and is just sitting there going, okay, you're another one that I'm going to put on my list. And, you know, like um, the offensive line. The offensive line quarterback relationship is unlike anything in the world. I sit there and say, so, Molly, Stephen, you guys, you guys remember the movie um, The Town? I think it's one of the great movies of all time. You yes. guys remember that movie, Stephen? You yeah, it was. Movie? Oh, absolutely. No. Ben Who's Affleck in the, the crew. Absolutely. Jeremy Bobby, Renner, yeah. the, Steven, Jeremy Nett, Renner, uh, right, so, uh, 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 Ben Affleck. Yeah, I love so, it. Molly, it's the movie The Town. Yep. It's about like bank robbers back in like Boston yes. years ago. Okay. Right? Good movie. So All right. there's this moment in yes. the movie. This is what it's like for the quarterback offensive line relationship. There's a moment in the movie where Ben Affleck walks into Jeremy Renner's house and he's like, I need your help. You can't ask me about it. I can't tell you what it's about. You can never ask me about it again, but we got to go hurt some people. And Jeremy Redder's sitting there, and he's like, who's Kyle we taking? That's what this is going to be like for that Philadelphia Ride Eagles offensive line. They're going to be like, you tell us when, champ. Like, yeah. And it's going to be clean, and it's going to be That's in good the whistles. Exit. Good exit and I there. love it. But this rivalry, these people hate each other now. Like, my wife's from Philly. Stephen A., I know you worked there. They hate, hate the Cowboys, okay? So while I love Micah, he's now kind of signaled like, you came at one of my guys, and there's got to be some. There's got to be us handling this in the field of play. Some moments like that. Well, first of all, major props to you. You got a beautiful wife, and she's from Philly. Your cred has been elevated to some degree. Let's I go. didn't think you was capable of pulling that off. I didn't think. A, I didn't think a Philly woman would want she you. But congratulations. Beautiful. I'm proud of you. That, that your, your your props elevate exponentially. That's number one. Number two, I'm gonna sort of agree with you, Dan Olavsky, but not entirely. I think this does work for Philly, but not on Christmas Eve. They go save it for the playoffs. <laughs> That's what they go do. They go save it for the playoffs. Okay. They go. They go. I think they go lose Christmas Eve. All right. They go lose Christmas Eve and tease those Cowboy fans into thinking they're gonna get it done, and then they're gonna get them in the playoffs. Because I sincerely believe, when it comes to the NFC East, it's a very difficult, tall task to ask somebody to beat you three times. Because, see, I think Philadelphia and Dallas yeah. are going to meet in the postseason, okay? okay? And so because of that, if you beat them Christmas Eve, then you would have beaten them twice in the regular season. I think it's a tall order to ask you to pull that off three times in the same season. It's just something that's an anomaly in the NFC East. You know, they're so dogged, you know, in, in their fervor against one another. I'm talking about all of them. All of them. That you have to be really, really a superior, a, a, a significantly superior team to pull that off, okay? If they were going up against the Giants with Saquon Barkley not healthy and, and, and the rest of the pieces, the Giants, yeah, you could beat the Giants three times in the same season if you Dallas or Philadelphia. But going up against each other, considering the talent on both sides of the field, I don't believe that any of them can beat the other three times. I'd love to be wrong, but I doubt it. And so to me, when I think about Micah Parsons, okay, this might up the level of play. You might answer the call on Christmas Eve, okay, and get it done at home against Philly. But you still ain't going to have home field advantage come playoff time. You still got to go back to Lincoln Financial Field. And with that loss on Christmas Eve, Philadelphia answers the call and avenges that loss come postseason time, so, which is just as sweet as it gets. But I will say this. If anybody got a right to talk, it's Micah Parsons. Let's no be doubt. very, very clear about that. No, I this love Michael it. Parsons we talking about. I love He's it. that dude. And I just want to make sure that everybody understands this is the modern-day LT. The mod he's not Lawrence Taylor. No one is. But he's the modern-day Lawrence Taylor. This brother goes out on the field, and he's sure. a spark plug. He doesn't have to get sacks in order to make a profound impact and a difference in terms of the Dallas Cowboys. I believe in that brother. I stand by what that brother said. I got no problems with it whatsoever. His teammates should have no problem with it. Back him up because Micah Parsons yeah. on Christmas Eve will show up. I have no doubt about that. I, 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 first of all, I'm, I'm more taken aback by it. Sounds like you're picking the Cowboys on Christmas Eve to win that game, which we're, we're getting yes, ahead I am. of. Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Who are Great you taking, Dan? I've said that. I've said that already. Uh, 
I, I said say that Philadelphia wins that yes, game. I, right now, I mean, I, I might yeah. change that depending on how this weekend or whatever, whatever. But right now, I would take Philadelphia. You think Philadelphia. Um, I agree with you. Like, I don't. I have no. I love this from Micah Parsons. I love it. I've said this. The only reason that, like, or one of the reasons why I, I um, have have moments when I enjoy the Cowboys is because of Micah Parsons, the player that he is and the person that he is. Um, but I love this for the rivalry. I, I think it's the best rivalry in the NFL right now. We're going to watch another one tonight, San Francisco, Seattle. But I think this is the best rivalry in the NFL right now. So I absolutely love the fact that he was. And and here's the reality, too. He's not all that wrong. Every great player is elevated to greater levels because of the coaches and or scheme that they're in. That's a reality. So I, I, I don't think that there's a, like a lot of um, like malicious intent and or truth to it or false hoods to it. But I love this. So do I. All right. So do I. This is what it's all about. And I just, right. and I get mad. Like yesterday, I was very, very annoyed at Mad Dog Russo. I get mad at, oh, just be quiet. Why are you providing billion bullets well, yeah, and more material? Blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's what sports is all around. Right. That's yeah. what sports is all about. You understand what I'm saying? No cheap shots, no anything. It's me against you. Right. It's my crew against your okay. crew. We on the same level as far as I'm concerned. Let's get it on. I like okay. that. Some people prefer to let their action do the talking and move in silence, so to each his own. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.